Hey, if you enjoy the adventurous ocean life like I do, whether you're fishing, kayaking, maybe free diving or scuba diving, maybe jet skiing, if you ever have a situation where you find yourself in the water, floating, bobbing, waiting, hoping, praying for help, then the Nautilus Lifeline, a marine rescue GPS unit, can be a lifesaver. Join me on this video as I run through the unboxing, the setup, and the actual operation of this unit. Hey, thanks for stopping by the channel, folks. My name is Ron, and I've been in love with and passionate about the ocean and its marine life ever since I was a kid. For the past 35 years or so, I've been teaching scuba diving, snorkeling, a bit of free diving, and even fishing on two of the Caribbean islands where I've had my dive stores. So consider two scenarios. One is that of a diver. They're underwater taking pictures. They stop, take a shot. The group moves ahead a little bit. They become separated. When they surface over the sound of a boat's engine, or perhaps the captain is looking at the bubbles and the float, captain doesn't see the diver floating over here they're at the mercy of the winds and the currents drifting them away from the boat second scenario may be that of a fisherman you're out there you're on the water you're fishing a rogue wave passes catches the boat bad maybe you fall in the water now you're at the mercy again of the ocean waiting hoping calling wanting help so this is where the marine rescue GPS unit can come in very handy it's tough it's compact, it's waterproof down to over 400 feet or 130 meters. And because of that, you can carry it via the silicone pouch, maybe attach it to your life jacket, maybe you can attach it to your belt, or you can stick it into your BCD pocket. So it's always with you at all times. Now this unit is gonna work anywhere in the world, straight out of the box, put in the batteries, and you can operate it without any special programming or registration or use of a Wi-Fi signal. It actually operates on a VHF frequency, the same ones the ships use to communicate, and it operates using the AIS system that all large vessels use, or via the VHF radio that most of the smaller vessels and the larger vessels would use. So therefore, this is the unit that can get you help if you're out in the ocean floating around. Your VHF radio is not gonna be in your pocket when you fall in the water or if you're scuba diving. Let me talk briefly about the price because a lot of people are always concerned and we should be about the price. This unit retails at about $220 US. If you think about it, that's relatively cheap for the safety that this provides you in case of a real emergency. And Lord knows there's been enough of those that we can read about on the internet or in the news. Now at that price, this unit translates over, if you think of the life of the batteries, over five years, which is 60 months, it translates to about $4 US per month. Now think about that. That's less than the cost of an air fill for a scuba diver, or it's maybe the cost of a bottled water or a bag of ice even per month if you're a fisherman. That's relatively inexpensive for something this important. So who's this unit for? Is it for everyone? No, I don't think so. If it is that you're doing shallow, easy inshore dives, maybe on the leeward coast of one of the islands, I may not go out and buy it. However, if I'm adventurous, as I mentioned, I'm out in the ocean, sometimes the sea's gonna get a little bit choppy, a little bit rough. I find myself in a situation needing it. Maybe I'm on the windward coast of a Caribbean island, or I'm out in the Pacific doing the Socorro Islands. Maybe I'm diving the Galapagos Islands where the currents are usually a little bit on the stronger side. This is really a lifesaver. Right, so folks, let's look at the unit. It comes in a small box. Nautilus Lifeline Marine Rescue GPS unit. The unit is waterproof. It's good down to 425 feet, which is approximately, of course, 130 meters. At the back, we have worldwide. It operates worldwide, accurate to 1.5 meters, sending out your GPS position. Batteries, region settings, there are three buttons, simple, Easy operation, blue button is power on, yellow button will send your position only and for testing, and of course your red button is calling for help. So what is inside the box? Let's see. We've got a Phillip head screwdriver, small one. We have got an antenna rewinder thingy, piece of plastic. And of course, the Nautilus Lifeline Marine Rescue GPS unit. 
you can see it's very tough it's got an MMSI number and a serial number the manual is not included in this but it is online it's simple and very well detailed and I'll have a link to that in this video in the description make sure you read this manual fully and completely before setting up the unit and using the device so I purchased three additional items that were not in the box one is the Nautilus Lifeline silicone pouch it's a very tough pouch it allows you to place this on the inside protecting the unit to some extent if you were just wearing it as a diver in your BCD pocket you might need it but if you are using it and attaching it to a life jacket or a belt then this is very handy so that is the silicone pouch you do have to purchase your batteries separate and of course you don't want batteries stored in here on the shelf sitting for a period of time so when you get your unit buy brand new CR123 3 volt lithium ion batteries buy the best you can buy because this is a lifesaver so let's do the initial setup I'm going to start with the marine rescue GPS unit take it out of the box of course to open it you need to release this black clip it's a very good secure lock so that you don't accidentally open it while underwater that's your first step here open your unit blue yellow orange red button instructions for use there's an o-ring seal here and as you go down to depth that protects the unit and makes it waterproof so my next step of course is to insert the batteries now to do that what you want to do is hold it press down on the top here and then you're going to open by just turning these screws here I'm pressing down so that there's pressure here on this so it's not going to pop up and also you're going to release these screws evenly without putting pressure on one side while opening the other side open it you've got another o-ring here <coughs> and you've got an o-ring here this is this contains the GPS receiving unit as well as the VHF antenna and signaling device it's all in here it's all on a chip and we'll go through that in some detail later on so I'm going to just rest this down here for now let's look this is the inside compartment this is the waterproof battery compartment so what I do is I just simply write on a thin piece of paper zero ideally these batteries are probably going to be changed in 2026 so now that I've written the date I want this to show up here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide it just in like that it's just down on the inside here I'll put this battery here I'll put this battery here and you can see the date here now for this part here what you want to do this is the part here that goes there just inspect your o-ring touch it lightly if you want make sure there's no dust dirt grime sand especially on these parts here later on if you've done the initial one this hair is already greased and primed ready if you're doing it later on after three four five years changing your battery you would want to put a little bit of o-ring grease very lightly place this over the top over the batteries again this is important put your thumb here and keep the pressure on it so you're using your thumb to press down on this rather than the screws at this point tighten in the screws a little bit at a time don't tighten too tight this is real important gently when it can't go anymore stop right so these are at the point where they can't go in anymore apply pressure and I'm just going to put a light touch on it not too much because the unit is already pretty much sealed there so these are securely in place you can see it forms a seal and that's good so folks straight out of the box with the batteries inserted this unit is ready to use 
If you put it in your BC pocket, come up and you have an emergency. When you press and hold, you start it with the blue button, press and hold for five seconds the red button, that will get the unit prepared and ready to send out your distress signal to all vessels using the AIS system. It is set up out of the factory to operate in the USA, but that gives you full access to the AIS system. So you don't have to program it, you don't have to do anything. However, if you do want to use it specifically matching the system to your vessel, if you have the MMSI programmed, then you can send a DSC system uh, signal. So if you're out at sea, of course, you've got this in your pocket. It's locked in, so it's waterproof. You've got it, you're carrying it with you. It's in your BCD pocket or it's on your belt. Or if you're boating, kayaking, perhaps it is attached to your life jacket via this strap here. So if you have to use it, what you would do is open this clip. Remember, it's only opened on the surface. Open the top. Follow the directions here. The directions are simple, straightforward. Press the blue button for the power on. Blue power on means you want to hear a click. There's a click. The blue light comes on. It's acquiring the GPS position of the unit. Now, ideally, you're going to test this outdoors. Once you've done that, you're going to remove this plastic cover with the instructions. To remove it, it's not a lift, it's a slide to this side, this way, and as I slide this in the direction of there, you're going to see the antenna spr spring out. Be careful. So the antenna springs out, and this is now ready to send a VHF radio signal. Now, this red button is only exposed after you remove this cover. So this is blocking you from pressing this accidentally. Now if you're out at sea, you're calling for help. When you press this, press and hold it for five seconds. After 20 seconds, which gives you a little time if you're accidentally pressing it, then it sends out a distress signal known as the man overboard signal. And I'll talk about that in the technical video, which I'll do as part two of this one. So this is operational here. If I press this one here and I hold for five to eight seconds, one, two, three, four, five, this is now going to be sending this unit information to the AIS system on board the ships and vessels. If I hold it for another five seconds, three, four, five, it reverts back to the idle state, which is the blue flashing, indicating that it's got a GPS lock and signal. And that's the use of the device. Very simple, useful in case of an emergency, and that's how we would use it. To turn it off, of course, press the blue button, hear the click, and it's off. To rewind the antenna, position this, this part here goes into here like that and then this is rewound until you are here and you can see it just round all the way until I'm there once you've got that in position put your finger on it and then slide this cover back over the unit and voila, you're done. Okay, back lock here, everything's back in place. That's the old antenna rewinder thingy. So it's securely in place there, cover it. Of course, just do a quick inspection. You're not gonna do this on the beach and sandy areas. Make sure there's no sand, grit, pebbles, anything here. Lock it in place, back in your pocket, and you're ready to go. 0421 was the date I put in this battery. This is good according to the manufacturer for up to five years. I don't wait five years because I'm gonna test my unit every three, four, five months. I'm gonna change my batteries every three to three and a half, four years, at least, if not sooner. 
So there is a battery check and that is indicated if the battery is weak, it will be indicated as per the instructions and manual which you'll find online. So anyone who engages in offshore activities, fun, adventure, I think should carry one of these things. If you're doing easy dives, well, maybe not. But if you're an adventurous person, it's definitely worth it. I know for me, for my peace of mind, I carry one. I so folks, I saw a picture that JP put up recently. Thank you for allowing me to use the photo, JP. Where they caught a tuna, and inside the stomach of the tuna was fish, but there was also plastic on top of a plastic bottle. Remember that when we dump and discard stuff into the ocean, marine life is going to pick it up, eat it. The same tuna that we want to catch or see or take pictures of, we're killing them. We need to take care of the ocean. There are millions of landlubbers who cannot venture out into the sea like we do. It's our responsibility. It's up to us to take care of that ocean. If you see garbage, pick it up. If you find litter underwater, pick it up, put it in a little mesh bag, Carry it back to the boat, put it in the garbage bin, and put it in the proper receptacles when you get ashore. This could be so important for our oceans, as you all know, I'm sure. Thanks for helping me to take care of it as well. Thanks for looking at the video, folks. Stay well, stay safe. Let's take care of the oceans. I'll see you on the next video.